Welcome to the CSUS Reading and Writing Center. As a writing tutor, you will work with many different students with diverse tutoring needs. This video demonstrates some of the more common tutoring situations and challenges you will encounter. Sometimes a student comes in with no material to help them get started. There are still strategies that you can use to help them generate ideas. So, um, what did you want to work on today? Um, well, we Listen to the class. student describe what's expected of them and ask clarifying questions. So do you have any notes with you, like for the class or anything? Um, no notes. If they're not sure where to begin, get the student brainstorming. Now, so this essay, it's a compare and contrast essay. So maybe we could start off um, brain, doing some brainstorming okay. and we can compare and contrast the different ideas. From Help the your student get their said. thoughts started, so but don't just hand them your own so ideas. Some students may need more help generating ideas for a paper. Get a feel for the assignment by asking questions and checking class materials if they are available. Right, so, uh, do you have a prompt they can take a look at? Uh, I don't have it with me. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, well, that's all right. Um, now, do you have um, an idea of what, what the prompt kind of said? Maybe just even just a little bit of an idea? Hmm. Make uh, sure both you and your student fully understand what is expected in the prompt. Then, ask your student to reflect on experiences or other classes that relate to the assignment. Can you think of maybe a specific class or a specific year in school that something like this happened to start a starting point? or Because it doesn't have to be, you know, an, an English class. It could be any kind It's of okay class. to give the student a few minutes to brainstorm or free write independently. Reflect. So I'll give you a few minutes to go ahead and write that out, and I'll be right back. Okay? okay. All right. So. After a few minutes, come back and check in with the student. Okay, I, have some ideas generated here. Uh -huh. I feel like that helped you brainstorming a little bit, just kind of st taking a step back from it and just going, okay. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I kind of have a place to start now. Encourage the student to return at a later date. This paper, you know, bring it back with you, but also try to get the prompt with you for the paper and then those readings. It can be tempting to begin writing for a student if they are stuck, but this is an ineffective tutoring strategy because it does not engage the student with their work. Okay, so how about I just try to work on something here for you real quick, okay? It is easy to get sidetracked, especially in a more difficult session, but remember that you have a limited amount of time which you need to use effectively. When students bring in a draft of their writing, concentrate first on high ordinal concerns such as the student's ideas, arguments, and organization. If the paper has a thesis, this is a good place to start. And usually uh, we have a thesis at the end of the, um, the first paragraph. So uh, you, talk, you say here that uh, Kennedy makes an effective and persuasive argument, but you're not really um, saying exactly how he does or what tools he uses. If you feel a student's and main argument or focus is unclear, ask them questions that prompt them to think critically about their topic. How should I go about that? Okay, well, tell me about what arguments he does use, what um, tools he uses in his arguments. Well, he... Well, first of all, Listen to the points and ideas that your student expresses. You can then discuss with the student how these ideas may be organized and incorporated into the essay. We've already, we've been just talking, you've told me a lot about some of the techniques he uses, so um, do you, it would probably be good for you to try to incorporate that into your thesis then. Okay. Remember that your focus is on the student's own ideas. Talk about how the student organizes and presents their ideas so they can improve their writing in future papers as well. You're going to work a little more on getting your thesis really specific. Mm -hmm. You're going to uh, make sure your topic sentences relate to it. Maybe work on a little bit of rearrangement of organization mm -hmm. here. And um, make sure you get in your citation. A common helpful tip for students is to use more evidence and specific examples to enforce claims. Yeah. The yellow paper um, is a reinforcer. Like, what is it a reinforcer of? Oh, yeah. I see. So I could elaborate more on how this story shows, like, women. If a student brings in a mostly complete paper, you can put more focus on sentence construction. 
Make sure to explain the reasoning for your suggestions so that the student can reapply the principles. Here we're going to need a semicolon because oh, okay. um, you kind of have an independent clause um, mm. from here to here. So it. basically that could be a sentence by itself, you know? Oh, but that's so good. Can I, can I make that? Yeah, 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 please exactly. do. Okay. Mm -hmm. And because the second... Some students may expect their tutor to act as an editor. Getting a paper well edited may seem productive, but tutors are ineffective when they take over control from the 2T. I just came in here to see you guys to kind of, you know, just like check my grammar and just make sure everything flows, you know? Mm-hmm, yeah, all right. Okay. Well, let's take a little, little edit through here. Okay. All right, starting off, so, yeah, this comma here isn't correct. Even though the student might be pleased that you are willing to correct their mistakes, remember that the focus is the student and not the paper. Yeah, let's see about how we can do that. Well, why don't we just like end it there and then? Not only does taking on the role of editor unproductive in the long run, but it puts a, up a barrier between you and the student. Remember, tutoring is collaborative. Yeah, no, it's totally fine. I'm fine. What's going on? No, he did not. This is something that you never want to see happening in the Writing Center. You know what? Oh, we're at the end. So is there anything else you wanted to work on? Um, I just, I guess I just wanted to check on the work cited. Okay. Do you know a good site? Or I do. Or Be prepared to refer students to resources such as Al Purdue to find more information about formal writing rules and formatting. I know a lot of people use um, the Purdue L, oh, but so that's yeah, what you want to write think, that down. 